Look at those legs. Gold legs. Oh, look at that. G'day, scrappers. Well, I'm having a nice afternoon here. Uh, quite warm. And um, having a couple of drinks. So I thought I'd do a quick, short and sweet scrap session. <laughs> if I can uh, get my words out, I'll just uh, pour myself a little uh, schlue of it. The good stuff. Bardel from uh, the home country, Croatia. Bardel is uh, the factory is just around the corner from my hometown, Sesvet. Yeah, so uh, cheers. I thought I'd um, just uh, scrap out these oddball things. Um, on video these three are actually identical there three different pieces these are all from a uh, television network so I've got uh, these are I'm not really sure what they are um, but uh, yeah they come from a television network and then I've got a couple of Sony monitors um, I was going to scrap them out and make it a longer scrap session uh, so there's uh, two of them here and um, these are the color old CRT monitors and well I tested them out and this one works it uh, comes on this one sounds a little bit strange so I probably could scrap it out but I'm just gonna leave it for now because uh, these are the uh, Sony PVM type uh, color monitors and they're quite popular with uh, retro gamers. A couple of things I really wanted to show you was these video signal synchronizers. I've got a couple of them here. Um, analog converter. So yeah, this is all part of a television network pickup. Um, I might even have access to more of these Sony monitors so I'll just see if they're still available I might take a few more but yeah so not really sure what this um, these things are but they're pretty straightforward as you can see there's they, they don't have uh, tops or bottoms so I'd imagine these were um, slotted into a rack and so to keep the cooling thing going they just uh, they don't need to actually have tops or bottoms um, but there's not much to these things so I'll just get these out the way and then I just want to get onto these uh, video digital synchronizers and uh, just have a look at the boards there because uh, it's been a while since I've uh, gotten them uh, but I do remember the boards were pretty spectacular. Well, reasonably spectacular. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'll do a quick, short and sweet scrap. Um, it's it's too hot to scrap anything serious. <laughs> uh, I've got a quite a big pickup coming up in a few days that uh, might be interesting. So this one here is just a transformer module and uh, so uh, yeah there's the little transformer in there and uh, I can't even think of the name right now I've had three shots of uh, Schlibowitz <laughs> toroidal transformer is what I'm thinking of but uh, that's, that's pretty cute and interesting that it's in its own little slide out module um, so that was pretty cool and then we've got all these cards here and I think there's two different variations of cards so this one here it's just a low grade board pretty much there are uh, a few tantalum capacitors the uh, resin dip ones so I'll, I'll just take off these little tantalum capacitors and I'll leave the rest just as a low grade board and just leave it complete but I will take off these uh, gold pins uh, for the hell of it. So 
I'm pretty sure these are all identical uh, boards. If I can get them out. So yeah, I wasn't going to make a video, but then I thought, well, since I'm here and I'm, I've got to scrap these out, I don't know why these won't come out. Well, I'm pretty sure I do know why. It's the uh, <laughs> Schluwewitz. Maybe if I have one more sh little sip. Well, it's coming up to the end of the year, you know, so... Ah, why not? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely all identical. Yeah, some are just stuck in. But, yep. So, I'm not really sure what this system does. Some of them are jammed in, but we pretty much get the gist of that. Yeah, so really not much to it, apart from the tantalum capacitors. Um, I'm just going to throw them into low grade. So very low value, um, considering what, what they look like. Quite amazing backplane boards here, each individual one. Um, is removable but I'm not going to bother with it just going to leave that as scrap metal well, it's, the, it's the most strangest feeling to uh, making a video when <laughs> uh, one tip to uh, would-be youtubers out there once you've had a few drinks probably best not to try Try and make a video. <laughs> okay, so these are, well, they've got a couple of IC chips. They do have quite a lot of tantalum capacitors, the resin dipped ones again, and a nice set of gold fingers. So these ones would have to come off the uh, the backing and uh, would probably go as a mid-grade board. But if I remove the tantalums, there's only a couple of chips um, so I might just remove the tantalums again, remove the gold fingers, and just throw it in as a low-grade board. Uh, this one, well, this is a little bit different, a little bit better. A lot more IC chips, so we can definitely get mid-grade board for that. It does have some of these green tantalum capacitors here, resin dipped again. Um, so we can take them. Probably can also take these, uh, it's only one row of gold fingers in there oh, sorry gold pins and uh, throw the rest in as a mid-grade board so that's the only different ones there um, and then once again we've got the toroidal transformer module here so yeah so not a bad transformer former but uh, you know there's only about 70 or 80 cents worth of value in the transformer the uh, the pins here might be gold plated if they are they're very lightly yeah I wouldn't even bother with them so it's just basically a, a transformer so uh, not a lot here I mean a little bit interesting but yeah nothing spectacular scrap wise um, Okay, so, but as I said, the, the main thing that I really want to uh, open up in this short and sweet scrap are these uh, video signal synchronizers. So I'll get rid of this Sony. Yeah. This one's the PVM 9044QM. So it's, uh, this one's a very small one. Uh, as far as gaming, <laughs> this one this one's worth scrapping out because it's just too small of a screen for any practical use way too small for gaming uh, retro or anything so I'll definitely scrap this out but not right now because I just powered it up before it was making some real weird noises 
So I just want to make sure that the capacitors are, are free of any charge. Just let it sit for a while. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll scrap this out in a week or two. But this big one here, um, they're still a little small screen-wise for retro gaming, but you know, if you're sitting right in front of the monitor, they'll be fine. It's big enough, but they're just a little bit small, but I'm still going to keep it because I reckon someone will want it. And uh, yeah, I'll see if I can get another probably in a little bit better condition. This one's got a little crack, but I did power it on and it had the menu came up. So I'm pretty confident that this one still, you know, works or will be uh, workable for someone that knows. But this is really what I wanted to uh, have a look at today. And for those of you that have seen some of my scrapping videos, whenever I come across something with a, this American flag sticker made in the USA, uh, I get pretty excited because, uh, as you know, there not many things these days, especially in technology, actually made in America um, well components and stuff aren't really made in America but uh, uh, well so I, I just like this little flag uh, sticker made in USA it's just cool it's just something uh, unusual usually it's all made in China you know uh, so it's quite, you know, reasonably old. And you can see it's, um, you can see here, it, uh, this is the TV channel, Channel 9 Engineering. So this all came from uh, engineering, um, a TV network. Um, yeah, but uh, I remember quite a while ago, I got one of these similar and the main board was quite good. I can see two dip switches in there. So it's really interesting. FS10 video signal signalizer. Oh, it's even got a void channel nine engineering void sticker. Micro time. So let me just get in here. So there's obviously a back plane board and a few bits and pieces. That doesn't really excite me. What does? Ah, yeah, just as I expected. This is uh, really good stuff. Check this board out. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, that is a telecom grade board and a half. Um, that is unbelievable. Look at the size of some of these resin dipped tantalum capacitors. Look at these orange ones, are amazing, huge. And these yellow ones are so big. Um, lovely. Uh, silver and tantalum recovery i reckon there's really good silver recovery in these type the resin dip ones but uh look at that it looks like a huge um cpu it's actually something else um it's like a converter it converts analog to digital signals but it's like a cpu it's a ceramic gold top it's got gold legs this is the baby that I want. I'll still put it into my CPU collection. And I've got another one here too. So hopefully it looks, it's the same model. So the, the board should be, should be the same. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, I'm just trying to sort of match it. Yeah, it's absolutely identical. And here we go again, TRW. 
So the, the part number, I believe, is the bottom one, 1020J1C. Don't know if that camera gets that. But, uh, wow. These are spectacular boards. I'll probably even just keep one um, with my other boards that I like to keep. Uh, so we've got an EPROM up here, and it's, yeah, it's a gold one. So that's nice. We've got EPROMs up here. So I think these two will also be gold ones. Some of these Zoron chips. Exilinx. And a whole heap of removable ICs here. Um, yeah. Love it. So I'm just going to remove this daughter card and see if I can get out this one of these CPUs. Fantastic. Well, I did say it was a short and sweet scrap. Well, don't know how short it's, it is, but it's certainly sweet for me. Okay. So this is my uh, trial card. I'll keep the top one for for another day. So yeah, so this is the daughter card. Um, gold IC. Uh, sorry, uh, EPROM. <laughs> A couple of ICs removable. A couple of... Uh, tantalums but they're so fat and chunky they're fantastic uh, tantalum capacitors uh, hopefully sorry if I'm not sort of focusing um, properly because uh, yeah like I said I've had a couple of drinks and it's don't know what this backing plate is all about or made of it looks like it's aluminium or something um, but this is the one we want and look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Looks like it's got a Maybe not. I'm just got to get myself a couple of screwdrivers Because I kind of want to um, Get these out and try and keep the legs as straight as possible. It didn't really work how I wanted it to work. Okay, look at those legs. Gold legs, oh, look at that. It's almost like a, a Motorola looking chip from underneath. How beautiful is that? Gold plate, gold running along the ceramic. So inside this ceramic, these gold legs will lead to, um, well, we'll have gold bonding wires attached to them, all leading to the central uh, chip. Uh, fantastic. And look how beautiful it is. Hey, and that's, that's a nice big, what's that, three inches long? Um, so a beautiful size. Um, dip so it, it's it looks like a cpu and that's where i'm going to put it in with my oddball cpu collection but uh it's it's actually not a cpu so um from what i understand uh it does something about turning analog into digital signals um but if you can see the part number you might find these in like rare CPU pages, uh, people are mentioning them, and uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, collectible, fantastic. I mean, obviously, gold recovery wise, um, you know, by weight, 
one of, you know, it'd be fantastic goal recovery. Uh, you know, you'd love to have 10 pounds of these or 100 of these, imagine that. Uh, but these are sellable as well. Obviously, you'd probably get more um, selling it as, as a collectible to someone than you would um, getting gold out of it still. Maybe, maybe not. And yeah, under the daughter card, just revealed a lot more tantalum capacitors. And, um, you know, and we talk about tantalum, but even if you're not purely into uh, um, recovering tantalum, you'll, you'll still get it. But uh, uh, there is silver in tantalum capacitors as well. And the older it gets, the more silver you'll probably get in these capacitors. So there will be a really good silver recovery rate as well. So even if tantalum doesn't shoot up to the moon like it once did, um, silver, silver probably will one day. And uh, yeah, one day we might go for tantalum capacitors just purely for the silver content rather than for the tantalum. The tantalum will just be a, a, a buy metal. Uh, there's also what looks like, well, this is my um, demo board. So this this one here, it's a lot cleaner, less dusty. So this will be my nice um, display board. So I can sacrifice a few things here. I just want to get out here. So that's nothing spectacular. Um, just a flat pack but going by the age that'd probably be pretty good so this board here what I'll probably do is take off all the removable ICs and uh, another daughter card with a few more removables take these uh, flat packs out there's two more EPROMs here and yep sure enough they're both gold EPROMs, so really good gold recovery, guaranteed gold recovery there because we can actually see the gold. So, yeah, I'll just bring this board right down to a mid-grade board by uh, taking off all the tantalum capacitors, all the removable IC chips, and even these two dip switches here. They'll be really good for gold recovery, and uh, yeah. And the rest is a mid-grade board but uh, this is what I was after this is uh, the ants pants as far as I'm concerned um, that's fantastic it's like one of the big 8080 series CPUs but it's bigger and um, uh, but it looks like it's gonna have just as much gold recovery in there worst comes to worst and there it is on the board itself so i'm really happy that i've got two specimens that i could uh, do this with one and uh, keep the other one but look at that and that's going straight into my collection so it's not for sale guys um yeah beautiful all right guys well that was uh, a short and sweet scrap it was going to be longer because I thought I was going to scrap out these monitors, but I decided to keep them for retro gaming. Um, so that's all it is right now. I've got so much going on this week before the end of the year. So uh, maybe I'll, I might squeeze in another video real soon. Keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you real soon.